All right, guys. Woo, it's been a long time. Long time. Sorry about that. You know, it's been moving, family, events, and situations, working, bills, you know, the regular stuff. So, yeah, sorry I took long to place another video, but hey, you know, we all got, you know, a life, you know, to, you know, accomplish things in life and being busy, et cetera, et cetera. So we all going through that. A lot of stuff been going on in the media and the world and politics and finance, the financial market, et cetera. You know, 2024, around the corner. So let's get prepared. You know, there's going to be more drama, you know, false flags and unexpected events and you know, uh, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of sad times, and um, and it's gonna be good times too, of course. So let's um, let's just buckle up and take our time on whatever we're working on, and be safe, do it right, wherever you are throughout the world, throughout the world, whatever language, culture, uh. Where you at, where you from, you know, whatever you're doing, let's do it right, righteously. And if you're thinking about hurting yourself or hurting someone, think, think, you know, speak to someone about it. All right. Think before you react. Um, it's not worth it. Is it worth it? But I don't think it's worth it. So uh, let's help each other. I help yourself to help each other and help others. All right. So, so, okay. All right. So where we at now? We're in chapter 17. Chapter 17. Still in the book of Genesis of chapter 17. All right. So if you want to catch up, listen to the other videos, you know, to catch up, you know, to to see, you know, how, you know, how the chapters were broken down and, or, or, you know, explained or not even explained, just, you know, read what, you know, just speaking on the chapters and verses on what it said, you know, I mean, a lot of people read, but not reading, you know, uh, a lot of people like to listen other people read to them but not reading the whole context you know you gotta read the whole content and some people take things out of context but place the put the emotions to the side and just read what you're supposed to read and I'm sure you'll wow yourself on like saying to yourself like wow I didn't read that before I didn't understand that before I never come across this before that's all you know know uh, what you're getting into before you get into it you know that's worth anything anyway all right chapter 17 all right okay this is the book of Genesis chapter 17 you know, either you were reading the book of, you know, um, King James Version, American Version, whatever version of the Bible you have, you know, I'm sure it, it flows the same. Probably certain words are different here and there, but anyway, all right, chapter 17. Um, and when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to him. The Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I wonder how he appeared to him. You know? How he appeared to him? He, was there a, a, a vortex that opened and he came out and, you know, appeared to him? Did he come down on a spaceship or did he just appear out of nowhere? You know, 
got to come from somewhere. You know, it's just, you know, just a question. That's all. Uh, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty, right? The almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Okay. Walk before me. Okay. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee ascendantly. And Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying, I wonder what language, I mean, he was talking with him though. What language God was talking with him? You see, it's, it's questions like that. It's like, what well, definitely wasn't this this form of English. You know, this thou and thy and walk before me. It definitely wasn't this. I mean, was it Hebrew? Can be because Hebrew came thousands of years later. I mean, during that time, Hebrew was non-existent. All right? I mean, I don't know. You know, you have to do your own research on that one. Um, he fell on his face and God talked with him saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of many nations. All right. Verse 5, chapter 17, verse 5. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram. Okay. But thy name should be Abraham now. Okay. For a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant with between me and thee and thy seed after thee and their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God, to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. She's thee, thy <laughs> okay. Um, verse 8, chapter 17. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. Okay. I will be their God. Land in Canaan, which is today the land of Palestine, or, or today being called Israel. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. All right. Um, Verse, verse 9 And God said unto Abraham Thou shalt keep thy covenant Therefore thou and thy seed After thee and their generations This is my covenant Which ye shall keep Between me and you And thy seed after thee Every man child among you Shall be circumcised Okay And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant be, betwixt me and you. Betwixt, I mean, B E T W I X T, me and you. Uh, man, betwixt. 
should be between me and you, but it says betwixt. Maybe it means in old English, betwixt me and you. Now, back to verse 2, where it said, I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. I mean, some people will say, um, you know, since the Arabs are descendants of Ishmael, you know, a lot of kings, you know, kings of Saudi Arabia, kings in United Arab Emirates, you know, king of Dubai, there's a lot of kings throughout the east. We got oil, got a lot of riches. You know, people could use that verse and say that speaking of them. And say, you know, yeah, a lot of rulership and kings and prosperity, oil that provides the world with abundance and those nations, you know, produce that and control it and make a lot of money and you know they own a lot of assets and um, you know they're under the umbrella of the religion of Islam so people could use that verse and say that's pertaining to them something to think about anyway all right, so back to verse, let's go to verse 12. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house or brought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must must needs be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant verse 14 chapter 17 verse 14 and the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. Jeez. It's a mean God right there, boy. So, <laughs> if you're uncircumcised, your soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. So, all right, so. You know, if you follow this, you know, if you're not circumcised, you know, you know, you'd be cut off. Yeah, you broke the covenant, be cut off. Verse 15, and God said unto Abraham, as for Sarah, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarah or Sari. But Sarah shall her name be. So, she changed her name. It was Sari or Sarah. Now it's Sarah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The significant behind that? I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe. I don't know. Changing the name. Change the name from Abram to Abraham. Okay. I guess Abraham means many nations will come out. So that's the title. Okay. And it's verse 16. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, 
shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? <laughs> he said, I'm old, man. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said unto his heart, Shall a child be unto me him that is a hundred years old, and shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? And Abraham, Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceeding, exceeding, exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. So he went up. How he went up? I don't know. You need to... Um, you know, he left his presence. He went up. Think about that. God went up and he left off talking with him and God went up from Abraham. Picture that. He appeared unto you and now, so if he appeared unto you, because if he's going up, if God went up, that means he came down. <laughs> up and down, up and down, right? Got to be, you know, I mean, if you're going up, I mean, you should, you're traveling. You got to have some type of vehicle or something. I don't know. You know unless you like Superman or you floating, flying, and I don't know. You got, you know, I'm just throwing questions out there, making you think. But anyway. Verse 23, and Abraham took Ishmael, his son. So, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, groups of people, humans, you know, there's teachings and readings out there that say one group is descended of Ishmael, you know, we're blessed to have, you know, our, you know we're kings, and we got this, we got that, and a lot of people are claiming to be Descendants of Isaac, you know, became Israel. Or claimed to be this and that. And, you know, no, there's a lot of conflict between all these blessings, you know, all this covenant that's broken, and a lot of conflict. But anyway, let's read on. All right, and Abraham took Ishmael his son. This is verse twenty-three. And all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the selfsame day, as God has said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old and nine when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Hmm. Verse 25 And Ishmael his son Was 13 years old When he was circumcised In the flesh of his foreskin In the same, self same day Was Abraham circumcised And Ishmael his son yeah, 90 some years old 99 years old You get circumcised You know that hurts so, uh, and all the men of his house born in the house and bought with money, those who was bought with money now, all right? Okay, remember that. It was people that was bought with money. 
of the stranger was circumcised with him. So there was people that was, you know, let me buy him. I'll give you money. You know, I own him. Had some money. So. He's my slave. He's my child now, boy. I gave you money for him. So you got people out there that's offering their kids for sale. And that's going on today. Hmm. Offering their kids for sale. I mean, sad, but, you know, hey. They had to be circun cir circumcised also. If you want to be part of the covenant. All right, I'll be back later. I'll make another video. We'll be on chapter 18. You know, uh, it's gonna, this is getting very interesting. And we'll read it step by step, chapter by chapter. Uh, you know, if you got any comments, you know, place it in, in, under, you know, place your comments and I'll reply or, and, uh, you know, start a conversation amongst your people, uh, or whatever religion or culture or you know background you come from. You know, I'm going to make you think. You know what I? You know, you know when you read this word for word, it makes you think about you know how you missed the opportunity to understand, you know, or what you believe in and why all this wasn't read to you in the past, you know, so anyway, let me go, I'll be back and we'll talk again and uh, uh, oh, uh, it won't be you know, my next video won't be, I won't be out for that long so, uh We'll talk again. Have a blessed one. Be peace. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Wherever you're at, travel in peace. Peace.